Lesson 34, Uniform Motion Problem. We have done two sets of uniform motion problems in the past. All right, so let's kind of refresh ourselves on the equations. Now, we know that rate times time equals the distance. All right, so far we've done equal distance problems. Okay, so we have a distance equals to another distance, which means that rate times time equals rate times time. We've also done an equation where two distances equal a total distance. So we had rate times time plus rate times time equals a total distance. Today what we're going to be talking about is a, a distance of one person plus an unknown distance equals the distance of the second person. All right, so an example of this would be someone who is maybe chasing someone else and hasn't quite caught up to them or people who left from two different places that were a certain different distance apart. All right, so we get, we're going to have rate times time plus a distance equals rate times time. All right, so let's look at an example of this kind of problem. Millicent began the journey at 6 a.m. at 50 kilometers per hour. Beauregard began to chase her at 10 a.m. at 60 kilometers per hour. What time was it when Beauregard got within 40 kilometers of Millicent? All right, the key to solving these problems is to sketch it out, to kind of make a picture of what you're trying to solve for. All right, so we have Millicent, and she begins her journey. All right, and she's got a rate and a time. Now, Beauregard started to chase her, okay, but he didn't quite catch up. He got within 40 kilometers of Millicent, all right? So he chased her, and he still had 40 kilometers to go before he would catch up, okay? Again, Beauregard has a rate and a time. So now we need to solve for, find the rates and times. Now, Millicent began the journey at 6 a.m. at 50 kilometers per hour. Well, 50 kilometers per hour is her rate. And we know that she began at 6 a.m., but we don't know what time it was when she got caught or when he got close. All right, so F is going to be Millicent's time. Now, Beauregard began to chase her at 10 a.m. at 60 kilometers per hour. So 60 is Beauregard's rate, but we don't, again, know what his time was. However, we do know that he traveled four hours less than Millicent. If Millicent began at 6 a.m. and Beauregard began at 10 a.m., Beauregard traveled four hours less than that of Millicent. All right, now, if we take a look at our diagrams, Millicent traveled the whole distance. Beauregard traveled part of the distance, and if he had traveled 40 kilometers more, it would have been equal to Millicent. So what we're going to make an equation of is Beauregard's rate and time plus that 40 kilometer distance is going to be equal to Millicent's rate and time. All right, so we have rate times time plus x equals rate times time. This is Beauregard and this is Millicent. All right, so Beauregard's rate was 60 kilometers per hour and his time was x minus 4. Now, if he had traveled that extra 40 kilometers, it would have been equal with Millicent. Millicent's rate is 50 miles per hour kilometers per hour and her time is x. All right, so now we're solving for time. We distribute 60 times x is 60x. 60 times negative 4 is minus 240 plus 40 equals 50x. All right, we can combine like terms. 60x minus 200 equals 50x. Subtract 60x from both sides and we get negative 200 equals negative 10x which means that x is equal to 20. All right, now x was a time, okay? x is Millicent's time. x minus 4, which would be 16, is Beauregard's time. All right, so we know now rates and times for both. The question was, what time was it when Beauregard got within 40 kilometers of Millicent? All right, well, remember, Millicent began at 6 a.m. and traveled for 20 hours. Beauregard began at 10 a.m. and traveled for 16 hours. So the time that he, he almost caught up to her should be the same. So we're finding 6 a.m. plus 20 hours. All right, well, 6 to noon is 6 hours. So we've got 14 hours to go. All right, we've got noon, 
to midnight, that's another 12 hours. Okay, so we've got, we had 20 hours that you travel from 6 to noon with 6 hours. Noon to midnight with 12 hours. Okay, so we're going midnight to 2 a.m. And that is when Millicent caught up with Beauregard, okay? We can do the same thing. Beauregard left at 10 a.m. 16 hours from 10 a.m. is 2 a.m. Okay, so make sure that you're answering the question that it asks. All right, we are going to do this next example together also. All right, so let's read it through. When the sheriff began his pursuit, Robin Hood was already seven miles out of Nottingham. If the sheriff traveled at six miles per hour, while Robin Hood's rate was two and a half miles per hour, how long did it take the sheriff to catch up? All right, now, let's draw this out. Sheriff began his pursuit. Robin Hood was already seven miles out of Nottingham. So if Nottingham is here, all right, Robin Hood was already seven miles away from Nottingham. Okay, so Robin Hood started running, but the sheriff began at Nottingham, and he had to go and catch Robin Hood. All right, so we've got Robin Hood and the sheriff. All right, now each of these are going to have a rate and a time. All right, Robin Hood's rate was two and a half miles per hour. The sheriff's rate was six miles per hour. All right, now, how long did it take him to catch up? They didn't, Robin Hood didn't start running before the sheriff did. He just got a, a head start because he was already seven miles away from where the sheriff was. So their times are actually going to be the same because they're traveling at the same time. All right? Now, if we're going back to our equation, distance plus an unknown distance equals another distance, which means rate times time plus a distance equals rate times time. Okay, now if we want their distances to be equal, we're going to have Robin Hood's rate and time plus that seven miles is going to be equal to the sheriff's rate and time. All right, so let's start to plug in the information. Robin Hood's rate was two and a half miles an hour, and its time was X. And that unknown distance is seven miles. The sheriff's rate was six miles an hour, and his time was X. All right, so let's solve. We're going to subtract two and a half X from both sides. That gives us seven is equal to 3.5 X, which means that X is equal to two. All right, so how long did it take the sheriff to catch up? Well, his travel time was two hours, and we've solved what we're looking for. All right, I don't have another example for you to do on your own. Um, make sure that you have these examples written down, and we're going to go over them and talk about them when we come back in.